What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I'm out and about. I'm still hoping uh, my parts get here before 5 o'clock. They are out. Uh, FedEx is out on the truck with a piece that I need for my vegetables. And I'm um, working on some racks of stuff for you guys, so I can't wait to get that stuff in. Um, I actually got to go out and get a caliber, which is like a, a, a digital one, because you got to know the exact measurement of it, because if the stuff doesn't fit in exactly right, then you can have some problems when you go through and start doing some cutting. So I'm going to get my calibers. And the same can be true about body parts, too. Because if you have a muscle or a joint, excuse me, it's not really muscle, a joint that's not fitting together right, you get some bone spurs and some fragments and things in there, you get pain. Trust me, pain. And it doesn't function as well. You know, you get a little hitch into it. You know, you might get a little bit of pain in there. You're not moving as fluid as you would like. And this is the time of year that it's best to go ahead and get these things taken care of right now instead of saying okay the season's over i'm gonna wait a couple weeks to see no get that shit done now because now football seasons are longer because of that extra game that it's an advantage to get that done now so come march when the team starts doing otas and you know and things your body is already healed you don't want to be healing in the process while the team is practicing you need all the practice you can get and so we have the first one that we know about randy gregory is actually getting a cleanup surgery on his knee now you'll remember and it's just something i know a whole lot about is cleaning up your knees um you'll remember over the summer i've got a knee that's far and away i guarantee a lot worse than what randy gregory's dealing with because as my doctor said i had a shredded meniscus and the meniscus basically is like a cushion in between. And when it's shredded or when it's not even smoothed out, it, it makes it a little harder for that knee. You have that knee pain and stuff. And Randy Gregory had been dealing with this knee, um, feeling that way most of the season. As he put it, um, last month, it was a lot worse than it was, uh, you know, this last week or so. Um, but still you want to go ahead and get everything squared away now so he's getting that knee surgery done i will say this much for the dallas cowboys we don't know which of the 21 free agents the cowboys want to bring back we don't um we assume that they want to bring them all back but we don't know for sure um Health-wise, when you look at last year, we had so many major injuries that curtailed seasons. You think about, we had Lyle Collins with the hips missing the whole season. You had Tyron Smith missing the whole season and having to get work done. You had, um, actually, uh, D-Law having back surgery um, last offseason. You had Dak Prescott. We came to find out. Um, about this time last year that he had actually had a second surgery on his ankle. So you were talking about catastrophic injuries to major pieces of your team. Um, we don't have the catastrophic injuries that are, you know, major rebuilds um, other than Michael Gallup being the ACL. That's the only one you look at and say, yeah, this is going to take a whole lot of time and effort to get him back on the field where you hope him to be. So from the standpoint of health-wise, going into the offseason, you're looking at most of the team should be able to start working out together. The other advantage for the Dallas Cowboys is, unlike some of the other markets where they have to put in workout bonuses to get guys to come back. A lot of these players don't necessarily live in the cities that they play in. Once the season's over, they jettison and get out of town to wherever they really want to be, maybe Florida, Arizona, California, whatever it is. Um, but most of the Cowboys players live in Dallas and the Dallas surrounding area. So they'll be able to rehab at the Star. They'll be there for the OTAs and workouts. The Cowboys actually have some of the lowest 
incentives for workout bonuses in the NFL because most of the guys are gym rats and just want to get back out there jumping at the bit. So from that standpoint, we'll be in much better shape, especially with Dak Prescott, because Dak, although I still believe that Dak is going to probably have some kind of a cleanup surgery, that's just my own personal opinion, that I think there's still some issues that are going on with that. Um, don't quote me on that. Don't say Mark Holmes said he's going to. I believe in my heart that there may be some other work done. Um, and we'll see if that happens. Hopefully, I, I'm hoping that he doesn't need anything. That'd be the ideal situation. You don't want to have to get operated on if, if you don't need it. And hopefully he doesn't need it. But I just have a feeling that there's going to be some things that are looked at and taken care of. So that's where we are. And I um, hope you guys are having a great Friday. Uh, if I can get this uh, sensor, uh, this this sensor button in in a reasonable time this evening, and get it put into the system and fire that sucker up, I'll be back later and we'll live stream on my other channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Peace.